Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video, and today we have yet another Halloween update in GTA 5 Online, so if you log in this week and head over to any clothing store at the front desk on outfits, you'll notice we have some new seasonal outfits, and these are from completing the community challenge last week. So as you know, last week we unlocked this orange glow skeleton onesie. This week, if you log in, you will have the purple glow skeleton onesie, and also the green glow skeleton onesie. So you don't have to do anything to unlock these. If you just log in this week, they will be there, fully unlocked. Let me know in the comment section which colour is your favourite. Also, there's a little glitch with these to remove the hood, which I'll show you right now. So I only just found this. If you go on to tops and head down to overcoat blazers, and then press on no top, and equip it of course, then you'll notice that it removes the hood. So I'm assuming this works on the other coloured ones as well. So you can most likely do this with every onesie in the game. Also, if you head down to the mask store, on the mask menu, head down to monsters, and you will notice you have this new green flaming skull mask, just by logging in this week. Also, last week we did get the brown creepy cat mask, and also the black creepy cat mask you were able to unlock by eliminating your clone slasher. Now, I'm not sure if that clone slasher event is still on this week, but it was last week, I was just in the middle of recording a video, and it just popped up on the map. So it seems to spawn pretty randomly across the city. Essentially, it is just a clone of your player, but if you do eliminate it, you will get 100k GTA cash, and you also unlock the black creepy cat mask. It does take quite a lot to eliminate the clone slasher. But as you can see there, you get 100k. It does say a t-shirt unlock, but I wasn't able to find out which t-shirt it was, uh, but it definitely is the black creepy cat mask uh, that you unlock on the mask menu. Also, on the mask menu, if you head down to Cultural, you should notice a few of these Calica masks have appeared, so you can equip these. Also, this week we have some new events, so this includes the Possessed Animals event, where these possessed animals will randomly appear, only at night time though, and essentially you will see a normal animal, and it will just turn into a possessed animal. So we did have this last year as well. Unfortunately, I don't think we get any rewards for eliminating these possessed animals. However, if you do want to go out your way to find them, I will show you the locations on the map right now. I'll start off by showing you the possessed pug locations. So the first location is going to be here in the city. It will also spawn around this location near the Sandy Shores airfield. There's also a spawn location for these pugs, just up here at Polito Bay. Also, in order for these animals to appear, it does need to be nighttime between 8pm and 1am. You also must be in free roam, not inside a building. Also, make sure you are on foot, not in a vehicle, and you need to have been in your session for at least 16 minutes. Anyway, for the possessed coyote spawn locations, they are going to spawn at the bottom right of the map over here. Also, in the mountain area, in the middle of the map, and over here on the right as well. If you want to have modded cars and outfits with cash and rank, then check today's sponsor in the pinned comment below. They'll also spawn in up here in Sandy Shores, and also in the mountain range on the left side of the map. Now for the possessed boar, they're pretty much going to spawn in at the top of the map, over here in Grapeseed, and then also up Mount Chiliad, and on this mountain range just to the left of Mount Chiliad. Now for the possessed deer, they will spawn on the left side of the map, so up here at Polito Bay, and also over here by the LS Tourist Board and then even further down, closer to the city, on the mountain range on the left here. They'll also spawn in. Now for the possessed mountain lions, they're going to spawn in on the right of the map. So just over here, and then a bit further up, they will spawn in around here. And then even further up in these mountain ranges, at the top right of the map. Also this week we have the jack-o'-lantern event, so if you collect 10 of these in a day you're going to unlock the horror pumpkin mask. And if you collect all of the jack-o'-lanterns, you will get the pumpkin t-shirt. I believe there are 200 jack-o'-lanterns to collect, and each time you collect one of these jack-o'-lanterns, you'll either get a trick or treat. This time I got a trick, but if you get a treat you can get snacks, RP, cash and more. Also, the Ludendorff Cemetery Survival is still available to play, so by playing this you can unlock the Mummy outfit if you have GTA+. Plus. So previously, I said you had to complete 15 waves of this survival, and that is actually incorrect. You only have to complete one wave, and within 3 days you'll have the Mummy outfit credited to your account. 
So if you have completed one wave of that previously, just go to your wardrobe in one of your apartments or businesses, then head down to the outfits, go to special, and if you have GTA Plus, the mummy outfit should be there available to use. So a pretty cool outfit, make sure you try and get this this year. Also, if you've logged in in the past three weeks, you should notice you have a skull livery available for your night shark. Also, in case you're wondering, we do have double money and double RP on all Halloween themed death matches this week. Also, coming back to the game this week, we have the Phantom Car event. So this is essentially where this Phantom Car will spawn in, in game and chase you. Now, in order for it to spawn in, just make sure you're in free roam, not inside a building. Also, it must be nighttime, so between 9pm and 5am, and you have to be on foot or in a normal vehicle, so don't use anything like the Deluxo Oppressor or Oppressor Mark II. And at least 16 minutes must have passed since you joined this session you're in, and there must be a minimum of two players in that session. And the event will only finish if you destroy the vehicle, which is nearly indestructible, or if it eliminates whoever it's following. Now we also have the Cerberus Truck event coming back this week in GTA 5 Online, and this one has the same requirements for it to spawn in as the Phantom Car, except for the time of day, so it can be any time of day. So essentially how it works is the event will spawn an exotic exports vehicle with a driverless Cerberus parked nearby. As soon as you get in the vehicle, the truck will start moving and chasing you until it either eliminates you or you deliver the vehicle at the docks. And here are all the spawn locations for this Cerberus event. So yeah, that is pretty much it for the events in this event week. And we also have the usual 30% off all the Halloween themed vehicles in the game. And also all the sugar skull face paints are completely free. Also, if you didn't know, we do have all the Halloween face paints back in the game. So definitely take advantage of that and purchase every single one that you want to keep in the shop. And if you want to make your face paint appear more, just hold right bumper to increase the opacity. Also, the UFO event is active in GTA, so you can look up the map for the locations for each UFO. They will spawn in in between 10pm and 4am in game time. And when you have taken a photo of all the UFOs, you will unlock some clothing items. It's nothing crazy, just a few pairs of shorts and I believe a t-shirt. So let me know what you think of this week's update in GTA 5. We might end up having another Halloween update next week, seeing as that'll be, I believe, the 31st. So this might not be the final update. So if we do get another one, I'll try and keep you guys updated on that. But anyway, I'm pretty happy with these new skeleton onesies. And this new mask looks pretty cool as well. And it matches the green glow skeleton onesie. Let me know if you guys want to see some outfits made with these items or some outfit glitches. Anyway, if you did find this video helpful or you did enjoy, a like would be much appreciated. Anyway, thank you for watching, have a great day or night, and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Take care.